senior day for the 2013 Franklin and Marshall softball team as the Diplomats took on Uhlenberg this past Saturday. FNM honored its three-member senior class of Amanda Scalacci, Julianne Whitley, and Danielle Murphy. Scalacci wrapped up her career by starting 114 contests, which placed her fifth all-time, while her 119 career appearances is good for seventh. Whitley appeared in 106 games over a span of four seasons. An accomplished power hitter, her eight career home runs ranked second best all time. This season, she ranked third on the team with a 276 average and was second in RBIs with 19. Few in program history have put together better careers at Franklin and Marshall than Danielle Murphy, who exits with the second most runs scored with 102 and the eighth most stolen bases with 38. She also sits in the top five at FNM in hits, doubles, home runs, walks, and games played. Mallory Sassman reached base five times against the Mules, picking up four hits that included a leadoff double to right field in the first inning of Game 1. For the season, Sassman finished third in the conference with a 438 average and was second on the Diplomats in hits with 39. She was first on the team with 23 runs and a 584 slugging percentage. Sam Dinoville picked up a pair of hits in the opening contest that included an RBI single in the bottom of the seventh. Patricia Krigler singled to center field in the second inning of Game 1 before snagging her third steal of the season later in the frame. The Diplomats took a 2-0 lead into the fourth before the Mules offense exploded for five runs at the top of the inning and route to the 7-3. Caitlin Zampino pitched all seven frames but was charged with the loss after surrendering five runs. Trailing 5-0 in Game 2, Rachel Lawford's single up the middle in the bottom of the sixth scored Ashley Hartshorn from second to make it a four-run game. Liz Middleton stepped into the box next and laced a single down the left field line to send Whitley home from third and make the contest 5-2. Murphy closed out her career with a 1-for-2 effort in the nightcap, a single to left center in the bottom of the fifth. Justine Laurie finished the season with a 9-8 mark after being handed the seat in Game 2. The junior right-hander went seven frames and struck out three batters in the 8-2 loss. 